So in this video, I will show you how to create your first dashboards, how to visualize your data. I will assume that you didn't like our templates and you want to start from scratch. You have two options. For instance, I can create a new page and start from scratch if you want to use the templates anyways in the same page and the same report. Here, you can go to Google Data Studio, go to blank report and simply connect your Facebook data with portrait metrics again and we will start from scratch. In this case, I will choose again portrait metrics and you will find our connector here. I will go to Facebook ads and Instagram ads and I will connect the account again. So I will go to add account. I will choose the same one I use in the template and I will choose again the same conversion window, which is the recommended option. And here also the recommended report time and I will go to add. And now we are connected on Data Studio. You can choose to keep working on this report on this page or here. It will be the same step and I will remove this one which was created by default. So I will create a metric. I would like to visualize the amount spent on my ad accounts. So I will go to insert and I want to visualize this with a time series. I want to know how much money I spend every day. So I will go to time series and I will drop it here. And here I am visualizing a time series that is showing me per day how many clicks I have, but that's not the question I have. The question you have is amount spent. So the metric is not clicks. The metric is amount spent. And we have our new chart with a time series, but instead of clicks, we will see the amount spent. Perfect. That's our first visualization. Once we have this chart, let's create something else. Let's say I would like to visualize the gender composition of my audience. So I will do that. In this case, I will add a pie chart. So I will have a pie chart here. And let's say I would like to visualize how many clicks I have by gender. So the metric is not about to spend this time. The metric is clicks. And the dimension, the way I break down this data is not date. This is showing me every day. In this case, I will choose date. I will choose gender. And I will see it. And here you can see that for this account, this ad account is only targeting to women. Let's do some other things. What about if I want to visualize a metric that shows me how much money I spend or how many conversions I get? So I will do that. I will go to insert and I will insert a scorecard. In this case, I will add it here. And the scorecard I want to visualize is my conversions. In this case, for this ad account, I know that it is a, an e-commerce. So the metric is not about the spend, the metric is purchases, which is a standard conversion that this account uses to track its goals. So here purchases, and it will show me the amount of purchases I am getting. So I have 910 purchases, but for what time? This year, this month, today, I don't know what. So I will go to insert and I will insert a time filter so I can decide which range I want to visualize. So I will go to date range control and I will add it here. Perfect. Now I can choose the date range. By default, I think it is showing me this month, but I will change it to show me the last month. So I will go here and instead of auto date and range, I will choose last month and I will go to apply. And now I am visualizing my data by the last month, in this case is August. So in this case, I would like to visualize a map to know the geographics of my audience. So I will go to insert, and in this case, I will choose GeoChart or Google Maps. In this case, I will choose GeoChart, it is okay. So I will place it here and I will make it bigger and that's it. And the geo dimension that this will take, it is country. I have two types of geographical data on Facebook ads. One is country and the other one is region. And I will show you how it works. In this case, this account shows me that most of my purchases happen in the US and Canada, but mostly in the US. This is cool, but I will create a table to show the regions. So I will make this a little bit smaller and I will insert a table. So in this case, I want to visualize my purchases, but not by date, but by region. So in this case, instead of date, 
the dimension or the breakdown will be region. And here you have, we are visualizing by region. This is showing me that most of my purchases are happening in Texas, in Texas and in California. This is great. You can see that you can ask questions and you can answer them with data. And how you ask questions, you define a metric, purchases, clicks, amount spent, your conversions, CTR, cost per click, everything. Porter brings all your Facebook ads metrics to Data Studio, everything. And if you don't see anything, tell us because we will bring it. So we have the metrics and also we have the breakdowns or dimensions so I can see clicks by day or by month or by ad. I will show you that right now. I will remove this because it looks ugly. It is your first report, so it is okay if it is not good. So I will go to insert and I will insert a table and I will see my ads and this will be amazing. You will love this. So I will make this bigger and by default, this will generate the ad image. That's a value I can get so I can know which image has most clicks. In this case, this ad has this amount of clicks. I will make it a little bit smaller so I can see more ads. Now, I will keep with this ad image, but I will do something else. I will add the ad name. And I have the ad name already, so I can know which ad has what amount of clicks. So in this case, I don't want to visualize clicks. I want to visualize also the CTR, so I can see by all or by link. And I want to visualize also, let's say the purchases again. I don't know. Maybe I can visualize the impressions or the reach. So in this case, I will choose impressions. And here you have, we are visualizing by ad name, the amount of clicks, the CTR and the impressions. I will change a little bit the styling here. So I, I will grab this and perfect. But I don't know, I don't like the image. I would like instead of the image, I would like to visualize the campaign name or the ad set name. So I will go to campaign and I will go to ad set. And here you have a table that shows campaign, ad set, ad name, click, CTR, impressions, or whatever metric you want to visualize. As you can see, building a dashboard or a visualization is just a matter of choosing a dimension and choosing a metric. But this is not over. In the next videos, we will add some styling to these charts. I will show you some custom formulas and I will show you how to share this with your peers. This is just getting started, so I will see you in the next videos.